the studio today and uh, it, this is exciting for me to have in the studio this man has done a lot of amazing amazing stuff and uh, just to have you here in Seattle it's, uh, it's a privilege for us and thank you again for spending the time to come and uh, talk to us so we have a special guest is uh, mr. Jose chameleon from Uganda this man he's uh, I want to say a legend as well I know I like to use that word but I, I use it appropriately and this man he's just on the way just doing big things welcome to Seattle Honored to be right in the studios of DC Productions. You are welcome. And, and I would say, let's get it going. Okay. Yes. You know, I have a lot of questions for you. <laughs> I personally know you, but I, I know your fans. They they have tons of questions, and hopefully, I can do them justice by trying to ask uh, on their behalf. You know, as many questions as I can. Uh, you know, considering the fact that you're busy from here, you're going somewhere else. But I will try as much as we can to get you going. But first off, what prompted you? to even start the kind of music that you do? Is there any inspiration that you have? Uh, um, what, what, I, what I try to do is, okay, I'll say I'm an artist. Right. And when I say artist, I'm not talking about limited art. Right. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a painter. Okay. I do sculpture. Okay, I'm very attracted to, 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 to nature. Right, right. And what, 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 it, what inspires and prompts me to do the music that I do is simply what I observe in the, in the society. Mm -hmm. I mean, what I... Observing the society can be painted, right. can be sculptured, but uh, since I don't have a lot of time, yeah. I, try, it's, I sing it. Yeah. Yes. Which is very interesting. When I, when I saw you yesterday, for the first time I saw you actually trying to create the beat from the scratch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and I thought it was very interesting. Then as we were driving around, we went to some store, you picked up a guitar and you started playing, which was fun for me to see the other side of you, which normally people don't get to see. True, true. Uh, what kind of instruments are you able to play? I, I think I can play every instrument. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> because I mean, my life lives on try. I try out everything. Right. So honestly, but on a, on a professional level, I play. I play the guitar. Okay. I play keyboards. Okay. And I do studio production. Okay. Yes. All right. So musically, when uh, you know, if you, let's just say you go to sleep, and the next day you're trying to get into your studio and pro produce some music, uh, what's the last thing that you think about, and what's the first thing you think about, or what do you do first? Just take us through the journey of how you wake up and create music. Or, or recording a song. Yes. Okay, this is what it is. I, like I've told you from the beginning of the interview, is mm -hmm. I'm inspired by what I observe in society. And right. what a lot of people don't pay attention to is the, the surroundings that we live in within, in yeah. spot, yeah, build who we are in the other sense, in mm -hmm. the spiritual sense. Okay. So, frankly, I've never walked to a studio to record a song yeah. in my whole life. Really? So, yeah, yeah I, just, I just walked to the studio and then play with my my product with my fingers on every instrument that i play because mm -hmm. every instrument speaks a moment that you cannot tell by the words yeah so i mean so what comes out what melody comes out of the, the studio is is actually like what i call it's the spiritual feeling that i have in me so it drives me to the, that, that direction yeah look at it this way when you play a guitar right the guitar has a happy notes and sad notes. and the sad notes right so depending on what spiritually influences me that day is what i see mm -hmm. and in, 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 in a literal other way, I can say that I dive into studio. I dive okay. into the situation. The moment, yeah. You yeah get I, into, I dive that, into, the into the zone, like yes, we call it. That's what okay, it okay, yeah. interesting. Now, for those of uh, you, uh, the people that know you, yes. they've been to your concerts, they've seen you perform. It's like you get this energy from, I don't know, from wherever it comes from, but then as a person, you're very humble and, and meek and, and, and just quiet. So, <laughs> okay. no, no, no. I, I know where you're going. I know, I know where you're going. Cause look at it this way. Look right. at, I know where you're going because my mom uh -huh. loves watching my shows. Okay. She's watched like over 50 shows of mine. Right. And even when I tell her that tomorrow I have a show in Seattle, would you want to come? She would tell me. She would jump on a plane. Yes. Yeah. It is, um, I've told you, and I'll still stick to the same point, that mm -hmm. I am driven by that spiritual 
not not spiritual in, in the negative spirit or whatever right. it is, but, but in that subconscious. Just to make sure. We're not talking about, you know, crazy stuff. Yeah, yeah we're, we're talking not talking about, about Illuminati, <laughs> we're not talking about... Uh, so we, right. Yeah, what I mean is that 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 conscience yeah that drives this, the spirit yes, behind to be frank with you when, yeah. I, when i do my shows personally mm -hmm. after my shows I, I run after the promoters right I'm calling them every other time i want the dvd to that show simply because i want to watch comedian perform you know you just uh, went to to my next question because i've seen you keep up with the game and yes. to stay relevant in the game yes you always evolve mm -hmm. and uh w when i met you this year i saw you two years ago and a year ago <laughs> or something like that mm -hmm. but you're always moving with the time you always have your laptop with you, you always have a phone and mm -hmm. you always tweeting and uh, mm. Facebook and all that stuff. So yeah. how do you embrace your music as technology changes? Um, I embrace my music in the, in, the biggest in the biggest way possible. Do you know yes. why? Because I tell you people and they think that I'm, I'm creating a world piece of job, but I'm, a fan. Right. I'm Chameleon's number one fan. You're a fan. You, you got I'm, to be I'm, your own I'm fan. I'm Chameleon's yeah. number one fan. So mm -hmm. I don't want to see Chameleon do something that I wouldn't want my artist to do. To do Okay. There are two different people. There's Joseph and this chameleon. There's chameleon. So Joseph is a fan to chameleon. That's why Joseph criticizes chameleon before chameleon releases any music. So Interesting. Joseph criticizes criticizes chameleon on what to do. Right. And that is for me. It is very unusual. Yeah. But it isn't with me. Within me, I look at chameleon as as a brand. I look at him as somebody I miss. I look at chameleon as somebody I would want to see um, go to the moon. <laughs> okay. So. I preserve that. You preserve that. That is what, what I embrace. That I, 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 like, I like that deep side of you. I like mm. to hear that. So, Chameleon, a father, a brother. Yeah. Can you describe it? Chame a Chameleon, a father, typically, when you get back to your house, and what do you do? What's the first thing that you do when you're interacting with your... With your by the way, you have a wonderful wife and a wonderful family. I deserve uh, it. I deserve it. You deserve it? You're <laughs> <laughs> saying you deserve it. No, I deserve it. <laughs> when you work as hard as I work, you deserve yeah. it. Yeah, that's true. So walk us through uh, it, just the in that father. moment. Yeah, as a father, what, what, what do you do? I'm only a father because I have children. Okay. But I would say I'm more friends to my children. Okay. I mean, to be frank with you, they look at me as a bigger brother. Nice. But um, for me, family comes first. I really, really would do anything for my family. I mean, there are times that I feel like I'm, I, like any other human being, you break down and you feel like, you feel like you've been doing the same same thing the whole so many years. Yeah. Because I've been around for like a decade. And yes, that's a long time. Sometimes I don't get bored, but sometimes I feel like I'm doing the same same thing. Yeah. There's two things that keep me going. The first thing that keeps me going is my family. My family uh -huh. knows me as as an artist, as a teacher, as that's the way they survive. That's right. My, my on, on on my works is how they survive. Yeah. Then the other thing that keeps me going is my fans. I can't imagine my. You fans. feed off the energy that they yeah. give you. Yeah. Yeah. I feel, I feel like how, how who else is going to stand in for me? Yeah. That's what I mean. Speaking and of that, you know, it sounds like your life is very stable, and, and I know it, but I'm speaking on, on behalf of your fans. Yes. Uh, if I can go back to Uganda just for a minute. Mm. We have, uh, you know, friends and other musicians yes. that grew up with you. You know mm. each other as, as, you know, as friends. Yes. But then musically and business-wise, you know, you are in the same industry. Yes. Now, I know I don't want to dive into the depth of, uh, you know, who mm. said what and who did what, but we know what, what goes on. No, uh, but, 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 but I came but, but <laughs> here to answer everything to you. Perfect. To the fans. We appreciate yeah, that. So. Okay, walk us through. Um, Chameleon hears or reads something on the internet saying Chameleon was saying this, but in actual sense you didn't do it. Yes. How do you, do you react to that? Because, you know, being a, being a celebrity, so to speak, everything that you say, and us as human beings, we tend to ridicule and put you on a pedestal and actually just say, you know, we want to we wanna control your life. Yes. But what do you do when you hear something negative uh, through the media? It, it is, it really hurts. Because you know what happens is, mm -hmm. I, I don't want to say that I stand as clean as an angel. Right. But so, and no one is. Yeah, because I'm a human being. Right. And there are things, I'm very cautious about my life. Okay. When something wrong happens, if I do something wrong with you, mm -hmm. with somebody else, an mm -hmm. extra person, I'll make sure that the world doesn't know about it. Because right. I've seen so many incidences where they put me on the wrong side where I'm, where I'm not even supposed to be. It really, really, really hurts that we need to teach our communities. Yeah. We need to teach our communities to learn that we also are human beings who deserve a life. What yeah. is life? Life is living and forgiving. Yeah. You see what I mean? I mean, it, it hurts so hard. There, there are lots of things that have been crafted about me and say this and say that and say yeah, this. Yeah, unfortunately, yeah. To be frank with you, it is, it's, it's kind of normal. I sometimes break down and cry, but I mean, yeah. that is the only way I, I ease myself. And 
that's the only way I collect myself and walk again. And, and not too many people have seen you in that side because, like I said, they only see you on stage. But I, I had a privilege mm -hmm. and an honor to see that side of you yesterday when we we're True. talking about, you know, be, a life of being a celebrity and stuff like that. Yes. So now, um, just for your fans. We live in two extremes. Mm -hmm. We live in the extreme of the people who love you so much mm -hmm. and the extremes of people who don't want to hear anything about you. Right. So now that the people that don't want to hear anything about you are celebrating that, remember that there's the people that love you that celebrate that. Yeah. I try to create a lot of time yeah. to say hello to this child, to this person, to that mm -hmm. person, depending on what avenues we are in. So, mm -hmm. I mean, when, you meet, when we meet at a show, it's kind of tricky because I'm security cautious and think about this, I'm tired and this and that. And that. But I mean... Davis, you became my friend yeah. like that. We mm -hmm. started like that. Hey, mm -hmm. hi, Chameleon, hi, and now we're brothers. Right. So I, I try to create a lot of time because that is the only way you can have purpose to your to society. To life. And, uh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. And before we talk about the things that you're doing in the community as, uh, you know, for a foundation and all that stuff, mm -hmm. I would like to ask you a few questions, if you don't mind. Uh, is Chameleon on drugs? Is, does Chameleon smoke? Uh, no, no, no. I'll tell you, honestly, <laughs> honestly. I had to go there, you know. No, 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 it is very good. And, yeah. and I'm very glad that you give me the platform to, to, to clear to, the to, to yeah, clear the air, the air mm -hmm. on everything. The fact is, um, African artists yeah. have built an impression, or people, African society has built an impression that every African artist, mm -hmm. or to be an artist, mm -hmm. you have to be using drugs. Right. But I'll tell you something. If I was using drugs, would I be as focused as I am? No way. That is the question. Uh, no way. But, <laughs> but I had to ask you that because I know you personally and I know your lifestyle is not the way it's portrayed. Yes. And that's why I asked you right on air so that people can actually no, 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 get no. to know I, that. I don't, I don't do drugs. Okay. And I don't advocate for drugs. Okay. I would actually be very willing. I was talking to, I was talking to um, our government, yeah. the, our government leaders the other day. Mm -hmm. I was asking for the role to be a drug ambassador. Okay. Oh, and, that's and no drug very interesting. Ambassador. Yeah, because that's what happens? Good. You know what happens? It's not only you, not only the few fans or the many million fans, mm -hmm. but the next generation, the next young, the young people yeah. that are going to be like me, yeah. going to be like, to be the people representing our societies, are growing in a very fast, fast, fast track nation. Yeah. Where they think they're taking drugs is cool. And Absolutely. to be honest with you, through this camera, I want to tell you, if you're a youth and you're out there, drugs is not cool. That's not the way it to go. Cool. That is that is self destruction. I appreciate that, Mr. Kamina, do because that's uh, on this channel. The thing that we focus on is actually the the, the youth yes. growing up. And uh, when when you speak, a lot of people follow, yes. and that's why we wanted to make sure that we get to the bottom of who Kamina is. Yes. Now, Kamina has what we call haters. Kamina has what we call followers and fans. But even, right. the, but, even the, but even the haters, they hate, hate, hate because, I'm, because they can't handle. They, yeah, they, they not, not because, and I understand that. Not anyway. because there's anything wrong with you. No, but no, no, there's nothing wrong with you, it's just they can't handle. Okay. <laughs> so tell me one thing. Um, Chameleon is rated one of uh, the richest uh, artists in Africa, in Uganda. Um, tell me something. How, how do you feel, you know, being named something huge like that? Um, practically, what I've done, what everybody does. Yeah. Okay. People love my music, and did the investments that I did. Yeah. So I found myself on myself on the Forbes list. I'm and for I'm, Forbes I'm, to I'm, actually highlight that, that's a big deal. No, to be honest, I'm, 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 I was humbled by that yeah. by, by that position. Mm -hmm. In a way that, I it reminds me that I come from a very humble family. And you do, yeah. And to be frank with you, nobody gave me capital except God. Yeah. He gave me the talent that I t transacted made it tangible and people bought it and they brought me here. Something that uh, just prompted me again, yesterday when I was talking to you, uh, I was trying to find out you know, how you spend your money, how, yeah. do you, how you do things, and I learned that you actually do a lot of investing. I do. Can you just briefly, without giving a lot of uh, details, how you deal with that? Um, just uh, your investments. Like, like, I, like I told you, told to you, is, uh, like I'm talking to the fans, mm -hmm. is I, I'm, I'm raised by a very, very, very small family, yeah. financially, and to be honest, being that I'm one of the first people to achieve what I've achieved, mm -hmm. I have a lot of people inspecting what I've achieved. Right. I have, first and foremost, is I, have, I have a very intelligent father. My father is an accountant. So every time, even when I buy a new car, he's making noise. <laughs> Joseph, they're, make, they're, right? they're, they're making cars every day. When are you going to stop buying cars? Right, so, right. To be honest with you, he's a very good financial advisor for me. Okay. He makes me think like I'm 50 years. Right. Yeah. So you and scrutinize I'm, everything you're buying. Yes. Yeah. And uh, he doesn't stop me, mm -hmm. but by the caution, he keeps, he keeps me on track. Yeah. I also have a very big father-in-law 
who's a, who's a, who's a priest and he's so like he wants to look at me prosper so yeah. i have a lot of financial guidance around so it me. sounds like you have people who are uh, who have the best interest at you from yes. from the financial perspective yes. even and as an artist and even as a human being yes and they look at my children even more they, Interesting. they, look, they, they, they don't want me to wake up one day and i achieved a lot and my kids are, are living less than what i achieved. what what you expect so yeah. they're, they're protecting my my their, their grandchildren's interests and to be frank with you, I, I don't want to say that they're doing it for me. I'm also a smart man. I don't, yeah. I'm not a miser, but I don't just spend anyhow. <laughs> yeah, I, I like that. Now, <laughs> I used the word hater before, but mm. to some of the, <clears throat> the, the people in the business who, yes. who are trying to be a uh, chameleon themselves, but they, they don't want to agree that they actually want to be chameleon. Yes. What, what would you say to them right now? Because I know you're, you're a person who advocates for peace and uh, smooth of... You, you know what happens is, it, when, when, you, when you are young people, there are lots of things that happen in your life yeah. because you're young. Mm -hmm. because you have an outermost energy right it is not wrong if people can disagree mm -hmm. once twice but it is wrong if people can disagree forever you understand so yeah the problem here is not having beef with my comrades or fellow artists or whatever mm -hmm. the problem is we must have that people need right. to people need to fight people need to disagree right to agree again. right 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 not right. to fight actually disagree. have different opinions about yes. things yeah but how long are those opinions gonna last right I mean I have comrades that we've had we've had misunderstandings there, arguments there, mm -hmm. uh, here and there, here and there. Mm -hmm. But that was the age mm -hmm. that we, sh we need to outgrow. Yeah. More so that we have children now, we need to inspire our children to be better people in mm -hmm. the future. So, um, for me, I'll be frank with you, I think, I put, I put my guns down yeah. and lifted my mic up. <laughs> right, I just do, do your yeah, thing. I'm just trying to do what I can. Uh, sp speaking of the microphone, I mean, I've seen that your music is uh, evolving. You've done dancehall. Uh, I worked with the Bini Man a couple months ago, and he knows who you are. You did some some projects together, yeah, yeah. and uh, there are other artists that I've met that you've actually worked with. Yes. Now, who's your biggest uh, idol when it comes to music? Um, hmm. Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson. Yes. The late Michael Jackson. And, okay. And, and the, simply because he stood the tides. Okay. He stood the tides. To be frank with you, I, I have a lot of pressure in my African continent. Right. Very big pressure, and. Africa in magnitude is, is not as big as the rest of the world. Right. Because I mean, it's a smaller, you know, it's a smaller, yes, yeah. But, but look at a person like Michael. Mm -hmm. the, he was treated the same way in America, same way all over the world. So right. I really, really feel like he didn't live a life. Right. And, but I also look at him performing on stage and I'm like, he, he can stand the tides. Yeah. It is so, it is so, it is so hard for him, but he's standing like it's cool. So, yeah. Yeah. I mean, emotionally, he inspires me a lot. Okay. Yes. What about from the African continent? Who's your, you know, I, I don't want to say somebody better than you, but somebody that you appreciate their talent. I appreciate all musicians. Yeah. I appreciate it because, listen, the difference between all musicians is the difference you have in a flower garden. When you, ha when right. you have blue, purple, yellow, green, it makes the garden beautiful. I appreciate all, all artists mm -hmm. in every aspect, yes. Chameleon is known of uh, having deep lyrics. Yes. You, you, you speak about positive stuff, and you know when to, like you say, you know when to put the guns down, and you know when to pick them up. Yeah. So, <laughs> I like the way you said it, yeah, because you yeah. said it with, with a lot of confidence. Yeah. But um, when music has changed from the, from the days of uh, tapes, you know, through uh, records, and, and now we, we're talking about, you know, digital media. Music, yeah. So, what are you doing right now to your music to make sure that you stay relevant as far as, uh, you know, uh, embracing the, the, the digital media that comes with uh, the change of time? Yeah, you know, you know, I've been singing without the digital media. Right. <laughs> so it, actually, when, dig, when digital media comes in, it's making it easier for me to even Easier sing. for you, yeah. Yes, because mm -hmm. now I can have a studio by my bedside. Yeah. Anyway, um, also what I'm trying to do to keep my music very relevant is I'm keeping my trend. I don't want to sing music that I won't be remembered for. Correct. You see what I mean? Correct. I don't, I don't sing for drunkards. Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> I sing for everybody. Right, right. <laughs> so, to be honest with you, I'm singing for people that love music, and I want to be, I want to record a statement that will be remembered. Yeah. When you're making music, uh, what demographics do you go for? Do you go for the, the younger generation, the middle generation, or everybody? Um, I go for everybody. But you know what happens is, um, me, my music involves a lot of things. It, it involves lyrics, mm -hmm. the beats, right. the character. Mm -hmm. You see what I mean? So, right. And what I know is what little, the little young generation loves most about my music mm -hmm. is the character in the music. Okay. Yes. I mean, when you look at the Bad Delicious song, it's, a, it's, 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 it's I love that song. It's actually viral. Yeah. But what makes it viral is, is the dance. Yeah.
truth about it behind the dance is craft. Yeah. So when I'm doing my music, I look at everybody. Yeah. I, I don't want to be specified and singing for, for, for Chinese and this and that. Yeah. This music itself is a language that I want to use to speak to. It. Yeah. And what I like about you is that I had the privilege to work with you a couple of years ago on a music video. Uh, what I like about this man is that uh, you, even though you have that much experience, when you work with people, you humble yourself and you allow other people to bring in their opinions. And I think that's what that's why you're successful. Yeah, yeah, you know, you know what happens is I'm seeing for people. So if you're seeing for people, you have to consider every opinion. Yeah. I can remember, is there anything that you said to make this growing up? Who followed your music from since you know you started performing? Uh, is there anybody that you uh, is there anything that you love to say to, to your fans? Yeah, yeah, one thing that I'll love to say to my fans is uh, to my fans and actually I'll speak to the musicians first. Mm -hmm. Um I I really think we should music is developing, yes, but we shouldn't lose ourselves. Yeah. You see what I mean? It is, it, is very, it is very unfair that you find somebody living in South Africa trying to sing West African music. Correct. It's very unfair that you find somebody in Uganda, trying, in East Africa, trying to sing American music. Mm -hmm. Music is part of what we call culture. And we have and, to preserve it. Yeah, we have to preserve it. Mm -hmm. look, look at Europe, look at America, look at China. We love those countries simply mm -hmm. because they have preserved their culture. Correct. When you go to China, they still have those houses that... Yeah, uh, yeah, the uh, Aki one, yeah. yeah, Aki ones. Yeah. When you come, Seattle doesn't look like L.A. Yeah. Simply because everybody's preserving their own uh, heritage. Absolutely. If you're losing your, if we, if we are trying, my fellow musicians, if we are from East Africa, we're trying to sound like West Africans, mm -hmm. then we are exchanging our heritage. Yeah. You won't go to West Africa and find somebody in West Africa singing like East Africans. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. So to my fellow artists, let's sing all types of music, but let's preserve our music because our music is a heritage. Mm -hmm. If we lose it, that's the beginning of it. So, and to my fans is keep inspiring me. More love, more vibes. That's what it is. Dr. Chameleon from Uganda, East Africa, Africa, representing worldwide. Absolutely. And I think uh, I wouldn't do your, your fans justice if we didn't give you a chance to float just for a minute. I got to go, can you I let you go, sit down with us.